Well, hi guys, it's Inamga4 here with the Sony Xperia Z smartphone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can root this device. But before we go any further, I just want to point out neither myself or Sony take any responsibility at all for anything that may go wrong during this process. So if you lose any data or anything like that. But before you do anything like this, I would recommend that you have a complete backup of your phone, move any sensitive data that you need off the device before we begin. Without the way, first thing that you need to do is go to settings. Well, before I do anything first, I'll just show you what I'm running. So you can see model number there for the Xperia ZC 6603 Android version is 4.1.2 exactly how it came out the box when I purchased it and the build number there is 10.1.8.1.350 okay so first thing what you need to do is go to settings and as I say developer options if that's turned off just swipe it right to turn it on say okay to the prompt and then halfway down there's an option there for USB debugging make sure there's a tick next to that say okay to the prompt again Go back and then scroll up until you get to security. And then in security, scroll down a little bit where you get to device administration and make sure there's a tick next to unknown sources. So the software can be installed from unknown sources. Say OK to the prompt. And then you're ready to go. Just get back to the home screen and then plug it into your computer. So I'm just going to open the cover for the USB port there. What we'll do is use the one USB 2.0 port along the cable plug it into the computer the other side where you got the micro USB port plug it into your Sony Xperia Z now that we're on the computer just like to say that you need to disable any software that you have like Sony PC suite or PC companion or anything like that for your phone because you don't want it to interfere with the routing process okay so uh, make sure you disable all of those or uninstall them whatever you need to do just don't get them to turn on when the phone connects right in the top right of the screen you'll see two icons there first one is called flash tool drive.exe second one is the root file that you need again links will be in the description where you can download these from okay if you don't already have the flash tool drivers installed make sure you get those installed i'm just gonna hit run just show you what they do you get this window saying just say next it takes you to a list of devices just scroll down a little bit until you get to the Sony Xperia Z and uh, at the same time also tick flash mode drivers and fast boot drivers as well hit install it'll go through the process and at some point you'll get another window as we do here hit next to that and it's already got them installed because I've already previously installed them but while you're installing you'll get some prompt stating that the drivers aren't signed do you want to continue if you do get two of those just make sure you say install them anyway uh, you'll have no issues at all and then once you're done hit finish and that will disappear next thing that you need to do the zip file that we downloaded I'm gonna right click and extract it to uh, the desktop here so it'll just extract it onto my desktop somewhere here it is I'll just move it here and what you need to do is I've just extracted it for the ease of use on the desktop so you can see it but what you now need to do is move it to your C drive so I'm gonna cut it and then open up my computer which I've got a window of here so I'm gonna go to the C drive and just paste it in there it's already got my last one so I'm just gonna copy and paste this for everything so that's all done so it's on the C drive now so what I'm gonna do is open that up double click it and then what we need to do is you'll see three files in there the one that we're really interested in is the one that's called run me dot bat right click on it and do run as administrator and now what I'm gonna do is minimize this window just to keep the desktop clean and it should open up this window on your screens. It'll give you three options. I say, do you want to do an install for a normal device, a special device, or a new Xperia device for Sony Xperia Z and V? Obviously, we've got a Z, so we want to do three. Just type in three and hit enter. It'll go through the motions uh, and it'll say, essentially, on the screen, you'll have a full restore screen. And along the bottom, there's two buttons which says, do not restore, restore my data. So, as it says there, hit restore my data on the phone once you've done that as per the prompt in the command prompt press any key to continue then it'll take you to the service menu on the phone so what you now need to do is go to service tests and then go to display 
and then you'll get the white screen there. We'll give it a minute or so to do its thing on the, on the command prompt. Okay, we left it there for a couple of minutes and the command prompt doesn't seem to be doing anything further, neither does the phone. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a kick. Um, so I'm just gonna remove the USB port, the USB cable from the USB port of the phone and it loses its connection. I'm just gonna plug it straight back in again. As I say, just to give it a little bit of a kick, I'll say okay to the water resistance blurb on the screen of the phone and on the screen of the computer get rid of the auto play. Now back to the command prompt that we've got here you can see at what point it lost contact with uh, the device as I unplugged it because it says device not found, device not found, blah de blah. But as we get to the bottom it then picks up where the device then connects again. It says you want to uh, super user or super su installed. I'm going to do super su because that's what I'm used to on other devices. So super su number two and then hit enter. And it says uh, it's going through success in installing some of it. And then it says it's okay re rebooting let's hope it worked. Indeed let's do hope it worked. Uh, and then it says you can close all open command prompts now. After reboot all is done have fun binary and press any key to continue. Okay so that dos prompt is done. So we solely stay on the phone that display now as it's currently rebooting so we'll leave it be for a while. Okay phone's rebooted it's at the lock screen I'm just going to swipe to go in give it a minute or so to just settle down connect up to the Wi-Fi and do what it needs to do and then what we'll do is go to the applications there we go super SU screen there so I'm just going to tap inside of it and then it says the SU binary needs to be updated uh, continue yeah why not continue if you have custom recovery like twerp blah de blah I don't so I'm gonna get hit normal installing please wait installation success that looks good hit OK uh, stay up to date with tweets no thanks to that okay so I'm just gonna go back to the home screen as we do and what I want to do to check if a route has actually worked is download a program what do you know the internet doesn't work so, hey ho what we'll do is just disable it turn it off from the notifications bar turn it back on again if this happens to you do the same if uh, after turning it back on it still doesn't work you may want to reboot your device so there we go that's not working so what we'll do I want to download root checker it's a free tool verifies that the root process is actually worked so accept it and install it once that's done if I go back it says it is I'll open it up say so agree to the disclaimer okay to that now the moment of truth verify root access yay it says I'm gonna grant it congratulations this device has root access that looks absolutely awesome to be fair okay so that works I want to try the NFC because I've read reports that the NFC stops working after you uh, root it so go to more settings turn on NFC seems to work okay to turn it on turn it off that seems to work okay as well so if you do have issues with the NFC what you I'll show you what you need to do just go to the Play Store download something called a uh, root browser top one it's a free one the light version install it accept it once that installs pretty quick uh, open it up after it's finished installing exit to that um, don't know I don't want to download anything once you're in there go to data see super user access working there grant it and then scroll down and then you should have a file called USF uh, mine's already named old but if yours isn't locate that file and call it anything just uh, rename it effectively so you could put USF 1, 2 as you can see mine's already called the old so that may be why my NFC is actually working but if your NFC doesn't work or you can turn it on but you can't turn it off or if there's issues with it just get to that file via the uh, program that we've just downloaded here called the root browser light 
And that's how easily you can route your Sony Xperia Z smartphone with and without a bootloader that's unlocked. All credits go to the XDA Developers Forum. The links will be in the description below. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.